Okay, uh, what you are looking at are not uh, government papers uh, by a given president during his term, um, unlike we saw in the uh, Johnson and I think Kennedy Library too. Um, this is the Yale Beinecke Library. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It is a rare book and manuscript library here on the campus of Yale in New Haven. Um, their, their feature, public feature, is text and textile. And uh, I'll tell you, if they're, you know, uh, we saw Harvard's uh, rare book room and rare book library, a manuscript. And I'll tell you, there is no comparison. Yale has got these guys hands down. They have all the, this is uh, King Arthur's Knights. Uh, the round table. Um, they got all the classics are here. Um, and it's just a brilliant display. Um, the standards are here that you would expect to see. Um, but then you got some little like oddities, which really piqued my curiosity. Um, where is it? A manuscript from uh, Langston Hughes from a poem of his. Um, a lot of, again, like uh, Cambridge uh, and Harvard, there's a lot of uh, fairy tales. You got Little Red Riding Hood here, uh, copies of that. Uh, there's, uh, uh, you got a Frank Oz here, or The Wizard of Oz, um, one of the 10,000 books he wrote on uh, the Wizard of Oz. Um, you got Laura Ingalls with the My Little Town. Okay. Just fascinating. And well displayed. I mean, beautifully displayed here. Look at it. William Blake, Jerusalem. Okay. Here, Chaucer. His works. Shakespeare's. Now, this is not a folio. I'm, I'm unsure what this is. This is a 1623 Shakespeare. Um, I don't know. Are, are, is it just a question of size, I would imagine? Yeah. Um, I would imagine it would say first folio, too, if it were. Um, Ovid, you know, that funny guy. Okay. Phenomenal. Ovid again. Have you in stitches here in the text and textile public exhibit. Can't get enough of them. Ovid Maria. The Odyssey. Translated by Pope. Okay. Isn't that something? Now, if you remember also in the, uh, the Cambridge or, or the, the Harvard uh, rare book room, they had a feature on travel. Their, their thing was travel. Okay. And uh, you got a lot of that here. And, and because of it, you got a lot of, you got a variety here, which is really just missing altogether with uh, Harvard's. Um, you know, a rare book or the second floor now of uh, look how well that's displayed for the public. This is public here. I mean, this is this is for the public's entertainment. I mean, there's 
you know, they have not held back at all. Look at this. This is public space. This is not research room or, you know, look at that. All right, look, look. And as I mentioned, here is, here is the Gutenberg uh, Bible, okay? Okay. Something, huh? Ain't that amazing? I mean, you know, now they're, you know, printing out uh, arms and legs and, you know, not just words anymore. They're printing out legs for those without legs and you know, something. Uh, text and textile. A nice display cases. Oscar Wilde there on dress. Mm -hmm. Jonathan Swift. This all goes in with the Ovid people, you know. That's a tale of the tub, I believe, there. Uh, yeah, a tale of the tub. Carlisle. All right. Golf. Very impressive. Look at that. And then, and then. Okay. Upton Sinclair, the cry for justice. Right there. Okay. Uh, text and textile, from vellum to uh, to all kind. There's the uh, Frank Baum book. Okay. All right. Or Wild there, Ingalls, from the Home on the Prairie Fest. And here we have, to end up perhaps, uh, something from the, the Harlem Renaissance of the 20s. This is a, uh, I believe it's a vest worn by uh, Carl Van Vechten. Carl Van Vechten. Uh, yeah, and uh, that photograph was taken by Gertrude Stein. Okay, so different times. This is this is a whole different ball game than what we saw in Cambridge with the uh, Harvard Rare Book Room here on the uh, Yale campus, New Haven.